I cannot speak for you. I can only speak for myself. But I think I just might be in your house this morning when I say that there is a strong, overwhelming temptation to change, to alter, to amend, and to downsize the original vision that I know I got from God at the beginning of this journey. Somebody talk to me. There's an overwhelming temptation to downsize or to downgrade what I know I got from God. Not your neighbor say, stay the course, stay the course. There is serious pressure, McKnight, in this season to settle for something I didn't see. Mm. Oh, let me say that again because some of y'all saying I can see it, but I'm talking about in the spirit. There is a heavy burden to settle for something that is in front of you instead of settling for something that's still in you. Ah, so I believe now that we are all being pressured to settle for something that is almost close to, to what God promised. Let me say, are y'all here? Y'all, am, am I talking, y'all? That, that I, I, maybe I'm just preaching to myself, but there is an overwhelming temptation. I almost fell for the okie doke. I almost fell for it to settle for something that's almost like what nudge your neighbor say. It's almost like, but it ain't it. It's almost like what God promised me. So now, Elder, the temptation is to rethink and to reduce what God has called me to do. The temptation is humongous. And God sent me here to tell you this morning that you are not alone and in to encourage you, to encourage your heart to stay the course. Somebody say, God, give me vision. God, God, give me vision. Help me to see beyond what is in front of me. God, somebody say, God, give me vision. God, God, allow me to see something in me so I don't settle what's for in front of me.